Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well. Because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as spiritual power. And the elect will receive spiritual power. And we're going to bring some precepts out validating this point and lord willing this lesson is edifying this is john 14 and 12 it says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and this is what this is what the messiah said unto the disciples this was yahweh shai speaking let's read again this is john 14 and 12 it says verily verily truly truly i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. So greater works shall they do. You know, and we're all willing, we are the elect. You know, because we do have spiritual power, but it's on a low level. We don't have it, you know, on a high level yet. You know, we're able to break these scriptures down and, you know, go into the precepts. You know, we're able to, you know, pray for certain individuals you know we get we have um spiritual power on a low level but we don't have it at our highest capacity yet but this is pretty much going into the elect they're going to be able to do greater works it says because i go unto my father so the elect they're going to be able to do greater works they're going to have spiritual power they're going to go from mortal to immortal and that's what's going to be a blessing. That's going to be fantastic. That's our reparations there. Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord. And let's read this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Our strength has, has to be renewed. Because in this lifetime that we're in right now, our bodies is weak. You know, they be in pain, bone aches, muscle pain. Right, we get sick, we get all these different diseases, all these different problems with our muscles, body functions. You know, our, these bodies are, are weak, they break easy. So, our strength it has to be renewed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Right, because right now our bodies is weak, you know, we can die easy in these bodies. But once once we're tra once we're ch uh, changed, once we're changed, you know our bodies are, uh, our strength is renewed. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be indestructible. Lord willing, we the elect, because our strength has to be renewed. Because in the bodies that we're in right now, they're faint, they're weak, they break easy, they get sick. But the Lord is gonna He's gonna renew our strength, and that's what we're waiting upon. Lord willing, we are that number, the elect. You know, we're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. Once we're changed, once the elect, if we, Lord willing, we are the elect, the elect, they're going to be changed. They're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. Ain't going to have no body pain, you know, no muscle pain, no bone aches. Bones won't be cracking every 24 minutes. You know, our body is just going to, we're going to have perfect bodies, man. This is Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers. And right now, there's many fishers. You know, we're teaching this word. We're on the highways and byways. We're fishing for the elect. Saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, right? The fishers are going to turn into hunters, which is the elect. And they're going to, again, the elect is going to tear stuff up here as well. You know, because you're going to have those heathen nations, they're going to try to hide from the Lord and go underneath those underground bunkers. But the Lord is going to put the spirit on us, Lord willing, we the elect. 
and we're going to know where their location is, and we're going to be able to pull their ass out of there and destroy them. It says, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. Yep, the elect is going to be able to do that, and they're going to know where their location at. Ain't going to be needing no GPS. We're going to just know. The elect is going to know where they at because the Lord is going to give them those abilities. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day, see, shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And you see, we're going to be on a high level with spiritual power. We're going to be on a high level, Lord willing, if we are that number. Because we're going to be immortal. Ain't going to be no dying. Revelation 11 and 6, it says, These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over the waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Right? And one thing that's going to be the most <laughs> fantastic thing, well, well, and if we are the elect, is we're going to have all type of powers. You know, brother's going to be running at supersonic speed. They're going to have telekinesis. They're going to be flying like Superman. They're going to be able to shoot laser beams from their eyes. They're going to be able to, be able to move objects with their hands like Magneto. You know, they're going to be able to stop bullets like Neo. You know, that movie uh, Last Dragon was a perfect example. He has spiritual power. So the elect, they're going to receive these capabilities. They're going to be able to fly, you know, run super, super, super fast at sonic speed. You ain't going to be able to kill the elect. The elect ain't going to be able to die. They're going to go immortal. Something like uh, Dragon Ball Z, like Vegeta was trying to. He was trying to wish for immortality with the Dragon Balls. When you when you watch uh, Dragon Ball Z the first season, you know that yeah the first season when I you know after Radix died and then Vegeta and Nappa came on the Earth, they were they were coming on the Earth because they wanted the Dragon Balls and they wanted to uh, wish for immortality, so they couldn't die. The elect is going to have those abilities, and that's going to be a beautiful moment because that's reparations there. Second Kings 1 and 10, and Elijah answered and said to the captain, and see, this is how we know that the Lord had spiritual power on his prophets. Because listen to this. This is what prophet Elijah said unto the captain and his 50 men. This is Second Kings 1 and 10, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, if I be a man of the most high, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. At that moment, when Prophet Elijah said that, this is what happened to them. And there came down there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. They were destroyed. So you know Prophet Elijah had he had spiritual power. King David had it. Samson had it. The Lord gave these men capabilities samson had it the lord gave him the power of strength samson had it on a high level the lord was dealing with them dealing with the men of the lord the prophets so that shows you there that the elect will receive spiritual power leviticus 26 18 and if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me then will i punish you seven times more for your sins see and this is the thing the lord yahweh not not all israel is going to be the elect either because the scriptures mentioned in uh zechariah uh 13 and 8 that two-thirds of our people have to be put to death jeremiah 51 and 19 it says the portion of jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, 
and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. That's going to be divine intervention. Divine intervention, man. The elect is going to have spiritual power, and the Lord is going to use his elect to tear stuff up here as well as also as well. The Lord is going to give his elect spiritual power. They're going to be changed. The scriptures mention that, right? Let me see if I can get that out. The scriptures mention that. They're going to be changed. This is 1 Corinthians 15, and we start at verse 50. The elect is going to be changed. We'll wrap it up with this. 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither do if corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. What shall not all sleep? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be, but we shall all be changed. See, the elect is going to be changed. That's what we're hoping to be is the elect. They're going to be changed. They're going to go from mortal to immortal. The elect is going to be changed. Verse 52, it says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. You see? And we shall be changed. See? So, so it is going to go from corrupt, corruptible to incorruptible. Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorrupt, incorruption. See, for corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. And that word mortal means death. We're in these mortal flesh, death flesh. But we're going to go to immortal, which is going to be unable to die. Unable to die. You ain't going to be able to die. Verse 54. So, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. See, so we ain't going to be able to die. This is the elect. They're going to go from mortal to immortal. They're going to put on, they're going to go from corruptible to incorruptible. They're going to be changed. We ain't going to be able to die. The elect is going to have perfect bodies. They're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. This is all going to be established, you know, um, in the new covenant. And this is why we tell you guys that's pushing the doctrine, we're already in a new covenant, you're going off. Because we're not in a new covenant yet. In that case, we will be immortal. The elect will already be sealed. We wouldn't be working nine to fives and we wouldn't be in captivity to Esau. Here it is right here. This is going into us being changed, the new covenant. This is going to be in the kingdom, the new covenant. Ezekiel 36 to 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. This is the elect being delivered right here and will bring you into your own land. This is a future prophecy. Verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, right? And from all your idols will I cleanse you. See? The elect, they're going to be cleansed. They're going to be changed. It says, verse 26. A new heart, which is a new mind, also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, Verse 27, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Verse 28, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your power. This is, go this is going to be in a new covenant. It says, verse 29, and I will save you from all your uncleanliness and I will call for the corn and will increase it. And lay no famine upon it. See? So the elect, they're going to be changed. They're going to receive that spiritual power. They're going to go from corrupt, 
corruptible to incorruptible. So the elect will receive spiritual power. The elect will. So Lord will in this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.